Let's keep it with the terrible news. Uh, Marvel Studios fires X Men ninety seven creator. Do I can't even say do we the mail? Oh my God, Lord I think Jesus it's, I think Christ! It's, it's Bo de Mayo. Isn't it Bo de Mayo? Bo, Bo de Mayo. <laughs> it is Bo de Mayo. The writer has been fired, supposedly. It's, it's a, actually, it definitely, actually, it's already happened. Yeah, so, the ho- the Hollywood Reporter reports in an unusual situation on the eve of a project's debut, the writer producer who worked on Moon Knight and Blade will no longer be promoting the show and moving forward to future seasons. Hmm. By the way, season two uh, is allegedly already done, and they were working on season three. Season two of what? X-Men 97? Uh-huh. Because oh. animation is a big production, and, right? So you have to do a lot in advance. In advance. Yeah, that makes yes. Sense. So because hmm. of that, that they season two is there, season three was on the way, and literally they just said, nah, you gone, bro. So Apparently, yeah, I, I don't know how to feel about that. How, I, know, how I was going to say... That? I know we were talking about this in the group chat a little bit, and obviously there's a lot of different things, right? So, like, it makes me nervous that we fired the writer of a show a week before a project comes out because, like, mm-hmm. that can't be good. Yeah. Um. I don't know. When things like this happen, it, it makes me feel like somebody has an agenda. Mm-hmm. And anytime anybody has an agenda, this shit's going to hell in a handbasket. Yep. You know what I mean? This, this is mm-hmm. the person that... Um, there's a video where, where or all the, the original actors and they're, they're you know they're all excited. We're in the same studios that we were in, and and then you get rid of one of the original writers, like the original writer, like just 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 I don't know. That mm-hmm. just that just makes me nervous for what's to come. So I also think usually when things are done this abruptly, um, that sometimes it's an HR issue. That might be involved. I'm not going to say exactly what that HR issue may be. That may be all over the internet rumored going around. However, I will say that sometimes when abrupt things happen, there's a reason those abrupt things happen. But we also don't know all the facts because apparently, like literally the dude's email was deactivated. Like usually when these things happen, you know, like and there's creative differences, both sides usually say, oh, we liked working with this person. We liked working with this company. You know, it was great. You know, we're just moving on to different things. Da, 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 da. Dude, apparently this guy deleted his social media, like his Instagram and all that stuff is just it's, it's wiped and gone right now. Um, and and neither side has commented for any source of media. So I, I'm not going to say that happened. But I'll say there's there's probably something that happens, but we don't is know that, what. Is it is that a, is that a, just like curiosity? Is that a, is that a fireable offense? Because like I, I'm in trouble. I mean, well, yeah, I, I mean, I, here's the thing: X Men ninety seven cooked. X Men ninety seven is kind of geared more towards a kid situation, right? Like, isn't it like uh, uh, it's it's not, yeah? That's probably what it is. I think I think it's rated PG thirteen. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I, I, yeah, I think that I think that has the f- the first X Men wasn't even. It was ra- it was rated PG thirteen. The animated series was rated. I think it was rated PG. Oh, with PG or PG thirteen? With all it, that I was, cake, I think it was PG thirteen over the original. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sure, it's right? like it, it, if you're if you're taking into consideration, I, I I'm sorry, I don't give a fuck with everybody. Anybody does in their private life as long as you give me good content, and I'm getting paid for it. Right. If you want to put feet stuff on the internet, it's fine. No one cares. Uh, yeah, I don't nice. know Guys, stop allegedly, giving out, allegedly, stop, stop allegedly, giving, stop, stop giving out my secrets, guys. Not allegedly. Off. How you think we can afford all this stuff? Aaron, we got Aaron working out here, boy. <laughs> Link to my only, my only fats will be in the description. Just <laughs> click it down below. <laughs> and, and you will be Dude, you, that's for the members only, bro. It's uh, it's uh, the, the site is actually feetfinders.com <laughs> forward slash uh, miles, <laughs> miles, uh, miles calluses. Um, so just uh, that's it's, that's the... it's magic Aaron four times XL. But yeah, so he's been fired, and right. um, we I'm just waiting till next week. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, damn, like. This makes you like, well, what the hell was on his OnlyFans? Nico's killing me. And this allegedly. Is, this Nico's is all, killing me. All allegedly. And listen, we wish this upon no one. And hopefully we find out a little bit down the line what actually happened. 
Um, you know, hopefully he wasn't he wasn't doing a leaked Drake video situation. Um, but also, what do you what also, do you mean by that? There's also a lot, if you got, we want to talk about rumors, if we're going to talk about rumors, he has also said that he didn't like they didn't like the script that he wrote for for Blade, and he was very pissed off about it. Mm -hmm. Because because he wrote the Blade script that invited that involved two fight scenes, the entire fucking hour and forty five minute movie, and he was he was mad about it. No, the thing is, is that there's been there's been four scripts or five scripts for Blade. I don't know which one was his. I can't put that on him. Mm-hmm. I will I will bet you it was the one that had two fight scenes. I will guarantee you it was that one. Yep. Without guarantee. I mean, listen, uh, maybe I mean, he run his course. You know what I mean? Like, you know, maybe he's run his course. You know, mm-hmm. it has been 30 years. I mean, listen, to also to be fair here, we do have some uh I do have some first reactions to um X-Men 97, some tweets that went out to people that got to see the first three episodes. You want me to go through them a little bit? Sure. Mm. Oh, by the no, way, we should we should probably no tell teasers. them. We should probably. What? Yeah, I was gonna say no, no teasers. No, um, no, no, no. These are these are these are non-spoiler. Okay. Oh, non-spoiler. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say we should also tell the people that uh, X Men drops next Wednesday, so obviously we will cover episodes one and two on the podcast next week. If you want to come kick it with us and check that out, we'll probably be talking about one and two and either be really really pissed off and you'll see the hotheads come out, or <laughs> or so, uh, we'll be pleasantly surprised. I'll just uh, I'll go th- I'll go through some tweets here. So. Um... Okay, now I've seen the first three uh, episodes. Um, it's on the whole good. A solid continuation of the original. Um, that means a few stumbles along the way. Uh, when it's great, it's great. So far, uh, more often than not, Scott fans will be feasting. A little Cyclops. Hey, yo, we got, we got Cyclops action? Yeah. What am I talking about? I just saw the first three episodes of X-Men 97. I can say confidently that uh, fans of the original will be very happy with it. I also Wait, really oh. enjoyed All right. what? Hold on one second. Right. If if the first episode does not start off mm-hmm. previously on X Men, it ha- valid, valid. <laughs> if mm-hmm. it does not start like that, mm-hmm. so, hold, hold on, Leo. Yep. We have to we have to taper our expectations. Taper. <laughs> don't fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> fuck that. This is X Men. Yep. Fuck, no, no, fuck, no, fuck that. X- <laughs> no, <he's tapering laughs> for this one. X-Men. This is my animated series. <laughs> X-Men 97 is incredible. It brought me back to the nostalgia of the original, but also updated it to be more suspenseful and intriguing. After three episodes, they leave you wanting more with their mini cliffhangers. Jubilee was drawn to look more Asian, too. I don't know what that is, but whatever. So that's awesome. Oh, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, we're going to get canceled. Um, no, I see three it. episode episodes. Nostalgia is handled perfectly. Action and use of powers are awesome and creative. Pleasantly hilarious as well. Um, I was a bit worried about X-Men 97 after a clunky and overfamiliar premiere, but episode two and three really cook. Um, it oh, so episode, foundation. One is, so episode one is going to suck. Great. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No the wonder why is, they put two of them out. The team is back, <laughs> baby. X-Men 97 transported me into Saturday as a kid, and I loved every second of it. You also got to realize uh, it's... It's taking place right after Xavier's death, so episode right. one is not yeah, going to be pick up. It, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's alleged be. death because we don't know. They he just he just went off of the spacecraft, said peace, y'all. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know, he did. Oh, you know, he did. <laughs> no, you know, he, he know, did. He, he, he know, he did. <laughs>